Christophe Biffon is a major character in the Avatar, The Last Airbender franchise. She serves as a main character in Avatar, The Last Airbender and a supporting protagonist in The Legend of Korra. When Team Avatar met Toph, she was working in an underground airbending tournament, also known as Earth Rumble. Given the way it was booked and run, Earth Rumble was the closest thing in the world of Avatar to pro wrestling. Though initially uninterested, she chose to leave behind her old life and travel with Avatar Aang and his friends to be his artbending teacher when her home life became unbearable for her. Toph is fiercely independent, direct, belligerent, and practiced in taunting and insulting her opponents and on occasion her friends, particularly Sokka. On several occasions Toph appears picking her nose, spreading, and belching loudly. As she explained to Aang and his companions, she does this intentionally as a rebellion against the principles of refined culture that her aristocratic parents attempted to make her conform to. If the situation absolutely requires it, she actually knows how to behave in upper-class Earth Kingdom culture much better than Ong's companions do. Despite her substantial prowess on land, Toph did not perform well in water and on ice. She seemed incapable of seeing where she was going on ice, was not able to swim, and became nauseous when she needed to travel by submarine in the invasion of the Fire Nation. In Ba Sing Se, Toph was seen feeling even slight vibrations. Despite her tough attitude, Toph was still wrestling with insecurities. Not because of her blindness, but her place in the world and her relationship with her family. Toph is highly skilled in art bending which utilizes Chinese martial arts techniques. Throughout Avatar, The Last Airbender, Toph is the first earthbender known to bend metal. When Toph is imprisoned in iron, the Sadhu Guru Pathak explains to Ong in a parallel scene that metal is refined earth. Whereupon Toph locates the iron's impurities and manipulates them to bend the metal portion. In old age, Toph retained her abrasive, no-nonsense personality, being harshly critical of Korra's abilities and enjoying defeating Korra in combat. However, Toph adopted a new mindset that moved beyond the realm of good and evil. After spending years defending her beliefs in what is right and just, she realized that no matter how hard she tried, crime and injustice would never give up and thus became weary of the never-ending battle.